start with a pranayam called Bhastrika pranayam. Take a deep breath and release it with a sense of joy, happiness and peacefulness. Patiently draw in a deep breath up to the lungs, up to the diaphragm and make sure not in the stomach. Remember, there is no organ in the stomach, no part which can absorb oxygen with a feeling of purity, divinity, power and cosmic energy. We are inhaling deeply and exhaling. You are inhaling deeply and exhaling. The pressure during inhalation and exhalation should be the same. Inhale deeply and exhale with full force. Kapal Bhati Pranayam In Bhastrika Pranayam we were inhaling and exhaling but in Kapal Bhati Pranayam we will only exhale. We are exhaling and while exhaling the stomach muscles are contracted and impure breath is expelled from the body. The stomach will automatically go in. Like when we vomit, the stomach as a reflex is pulled inside. Or like when you blow your nose, the stomach muscles are contracted inside. Exhale with force and relax. Push your breath out of your body with full force, strength and might and with this aim in mind that I'm only going to exhale. When you exhale, your stomach muscles will contract and go inside automatically. This is Kapal Bhati Pranayam. When you feel tired, you can stop. Initially, you can start by doing this only 30 times. After doing it 30 times, you will feel tired, so you can relax. After relaxing for some time, you can start Kapal Bhati Pranayam again. Kapal is the forehead and Bhati means glow. By doing this Pranayam, one can experience a glow which is extremely beautiful. This Kapal Bhati Pranayam is very useful in increasing the facial glow of the person who performs this Pranayam. After doing Kapal Bhati Pranayam, we'll do Bahya Pranayam three times. Inhale deeply to the maximum and then exhale. There will be three buns. Put your chin close to your throat. Suck in your stomach to touch the back. Pull the part of the abdomen below your navel upwards. We'll hold our breath after exhaling. Then employ the three buns. After the Jalandra Band, we'll inhale. Then release the three buns. Again, we'll exhale and employ the three buns this way.
After doing this pranayam, we'll now do Anulom Vilom Pranayam. Lift your right hand, close the right nostril, start from Chandraswar. The left part is called Ganga, the right part Yamuna and the middle part Saraswati. Ganga, Yamuna, Saraswati. This trinity is inside you. Close the right nostril and through the left nostril inhale slowly. Inhalation is now complete. Now close the left nostril with the middle and the little finger. Exhale through the right nostril. Inhale through the right nostril and exhale through the left. Use your thumb to exhale through the left. Let this go on. Inhale completely in your lungs. Do not inhale into your stomach. We'll focus our mind to do Brahmi Pranayam now. Call on the Brahm. We'll close our ears with our thumbs. The part of the ear that is raised upwards, we will close our ears by folding that part onto it. Once closed, the index fingers will rest on our forehead. The rest of the three fingers should be together. Put the first finger in the foundation of the nostrils and the eyes. Put the middle finger like this. The three fingers are together. The first finger is at the foundation of the eyes and nose. Press it slightly here. Let us perform Brahmari Pranayam. Touch the ears with the thumbs and take a deep breath. This is Brahmari Pranayam. This is to get over tension 